Drones pose a number of issues um, for law enforcement and the military. We see a number of different drones, makes, models, controllers, um, behaviours used with drones. A lot of the stuff that we come across is the drones being used in a criminal fashion. So the offence isn't in relation to the use of the drone, it's for the criminal activity it's being used for. Technology is, is, is benign, it's agnostic really, it's then what people choose to do with it. For example, delivery of illicit goods into prisons or something like that. The drone isn't a threat, but it's what's being done with it. So there is a lot of crimes that are facilitated by drones. So that's something that we really want to tackle and offer support. What we're trying to do is bring a community of digital forensics practitioners together with scientists from DSTL, with commercial um, software suppliers as well, to all come together and address a problem. So this event is a drone forensic exercise for people from law enforcement digital forensics units. We also have some military participants. It's bringing the diversity of thought, diversity of perspective all around the use of UAVs. It's a big topic area. There's a lot of changes, a lot of challenges that come with it. Um, I think what we're seeing is we're seeing drones becoming much more accessible. They're getting a lot cheaper in the marketplace. It's interesting seeing the drones being flown. In the labs, they get brought a piece of equipment. They've got no idea what it looked like when it was previously being used, how it was being used. The ability to see it being flown before we analyse it and pick the information off it is really helpful. What we'd like to do is be able to inform better, better actions, better behaviours um, and be able to guide people with how to examine drones. The fundamental thing for this event was to have a collaborative exercise where people from a, a range of different forces, we have 43 different forces in the UK, getting multiple people in the same place to talk about one topic. By bringing teams together like this, they start to learn off each other, they understand what each other's capabilities are. So the Defence Battle Lab is kind of an incubator slash accelerator for defence. It's a place for industry, academia and defence to collaborate. I think there's been so much conversation that's been going on throughout this event, I, I find it really encouraging. The more information we can give to policing, the military, about these assets that they're seizing and that they're coming across in the front line is really important. When people do come across drones that have been used in criminal activity, we've got a, um, a good set of skills and a good understanding of how we can combat that and how we can use the evidence for the best effect.